Gemini, this is your reading for 2023, a year ahead, okay? So we're going to do this in quarters. I got two cards per quarter, so stick with me. We got a lot to get through in a very short amount of time. We start out the year from January through March with the King of Pentacles and the Fool card, which I absolutely love. So this is about you taking a journey, taking a leap of faith in the beginning of this year. This could be a resolution that you're setting that I actually think you're going to follow through on. So make sure any resolution that you set for 2023 um, is something that you're really, really like feel strong about. There's a big why of why you're doing it so that you can follow through on that resolution. But the, I feel as though you're doing it to get more peace in your life, to get more money in your life, to, to feel more calm, grounded, and freedom. Because the last card, we'll get there in a second, so stay tuned. <laughs> Don't jump ahead. All right, we've got the Seven of Wands and the Tower card from April through June. I feel as though you're really kind of taking a hold of your confidence, taking a hold of the respect that you demand in your lifetime, and with this tower card, I feel as though when you finally step up and take courage to say no, to set boundaries, to let people out of your life, there's going to be a lot of tower moments for you. But sometimes tower moments don't have to be so bad. They can actually be really good. And even though they don't, they don't feel good, you know that it's happening because there's this whole new life that you're about to have. And that's what's happening here, okay? From, let's see, July through September, we've got Hermit and the Nine of Pentacles. So this is telling me that, you know, especially if you've dealt with toxic people in your life, this is kind of like you're going to go within and you're going to separate yourself and you're going to become independent. So this, you might break up with somebody, you might, and I feel like this is your doing. It's like you choose to walk away. Uh, could be a friendship, could be work related, but you are walking away from something that does not light you up anymore, okay? Now, the end of the year here is the Judgment card and the Queen of Cups. So I feel as though with this Judgment card, <laughs> you are kind of letting go of all the judgment you've had on yourself and also the judgment of others. You're kind of hitting that enlightenment stage of where you just don't give a shit anymore. And it's like, I let people be who they are and then I get to choose if they're in my life. So, and that's the Queen of Cups. You're starting to live your life with more love, but giving it to the right people. So this is a very big year for you because I feel as though you're going on this journey. And I feel like you might be on this journey for a while, but this is where it's really coming together and the changes are actually being made. There's a difference between healing yourself and then taking action. 2023 is your action year.